Hey guys, so today I have part two to my houseplant shop online with me video. I will be unboxing all of the plants I ordered in that video. I mean, let's just get into it. Let's get into the unboxing. All right, so our first package got here today. I ordered these Sunday evening, October 23rd. It is now October 26th, and I am super impressed by how quickly this shipped out and got here. This one is from Shady Places. Try not to cut myself. <laughs> Ow. All right, so here is what it looks like. I'm so excited. Wow. Okay, that looks pretty good. So you can see they're in little cups with bubble wrap tape to the top of the substrate. Wait a sec, I'm confused. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, there's skewers in, in there. They have one and two on either side to help prop the plant from like moving around inside of the plastic cup and the lid is taped down. So that's like really good packaging. Although I will say it is a lot of plastic, which to me is unfortunate. And I don't know, something I do consider when placing orders. They definitely put a lot of thought into it and this plant is <laughs> pristine. All right, so this is the ficus velosa. Looks really good. Wow, it's so cute. Yeah, it's just like a hairy little ficus. I love it. And I will be putting this into my Ikea cabinet back here. It looks even better than I thought it was going to, honestly. I was expecting a plant even smaller than that. So this is really awesome and, and it's rooted. Plus it has a little name tag. That looks awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's so hairy and cute. I love how the new leaves come in red uh, and then they turn green over time. I'm really, really excited to watch this one grow and see the leaves get huge. So here's hoping it'll like the terrarium cabinet. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will, because I'm pretty sure this is a high humidity loving plant. Wow, do you see how well that's packaged? Like they did a very, very thorough job. And especially for the price of these. All right, and here is the Mark Gravia Sin, wait, I'll have to look at the name tag. Sin Tennessee. Wow, it looks really, really good. Wow, and there's like three little offshoots. I paint all over my hands for painting with my kid. There is one, two, and three. So cute. Definitely gonna love the terrarium. I'm gonna put them in here in their ASAP. I love it. I'm, I'm incredibly happy with this portion of my order. And you can see the node where it was node propagated right here. Ah, it's kind of top heavy. Right here is the node, so it did kind of come loose in the soil, but I'm not bothered by that because clearly it is well enough rooted that the root can hold itself into the substrate. So happy with this order. And I will keep you posted when our other orders, when my other orders get here. All right, it is the next day, Thursday, October 27th, and I've gotten all of my plants by now except for one. So the only one I haven't received yet is the one I ordered from the Lady Cove. So that one is still in transit. I'm honestly blown away by how fast I got these. Like I said, I ordered them on Sunday evening and it is now Thursday and all of them, except for that one, have been delivered. We are going to start with this bad boy. This is from Plantastic by Huang. I wish I knew how to say the name. This tape is so strong. Either the tape is so strong or I'm so weak because I can't cut it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so here is the packaging. So um, it's very snugly wrapped in there. Ah, there is a shipping warmer down there taped to the bottom of the box. I appreciate that the plants themselves weren't taped to the inside of the box. I don't know why that kind of drives me nuts. I know a lot of places do that and it's not a huge deal, but I don't know. It's something that just really, it's a pet peeve of mine that makes no sense. It's just as annoying to have to like untape the, the plant while you're trying not to get substrate everywhere. It's not a big deal. Like I said, it's just a, like a little preference thing. It doesn't make or break a shop to me, but I definitely prefer it not to be taped to the inside. Here's a little sneak peek for us both. Okay, the light is terrible because it's very late in the evening. Wow, wow, it's quite big. I'm so pumped, I'm so pumped. I've had dreams about these plants. I'm not even being dramatic. And then the sub pinata, so cute. I know exactly where I'm gonna plant both of these. They look awesome. I'm very, very pleased and that was so fast. 
So it is the next day. I ran out of time to film this last night, but I am going to unbox the rest of these plants. And yeah, here's a little update on the Passiflora trifasciata. It has definitely like plumped out. Um, when I opened it, it was a little bit droopy and sad. Definitely doing a lot better today, so I'm feeling better about this one. And this one looks pretty much the same as it did yesterday, but the Monstera sub sub pinnata. What did it, what was it again? Sub pinnata. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to the next package, which this one is from my plant obsession. So it is the two codex plants, I believe. Yeah, I wish I could have unboxed these <laughs> last night, but. These kids be wild. All right, so it is just a tiny little box. I'm kind of surprised they'll both fit in here. I guess they're smaller than I was thinking they would be. Here is the Stefania Erecta. They're like tucked into these little bags and stapled shut. And I've been thinking long and hard these, I mean, it's only been a few days since I placed the order, but I've been thinking really hard about where I want to plant these and I do already know where I'll be planting them. Oh my gosh, cute. Okay, so here she is. Oh my gosh, there's a mealy bug. And it is alive, I just saw it move. Let's try the Philanthus mirabilis. I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's so cute. Let's see. I'm like feeling like I've really gotta... Um, I'm definitely going to spray these down with something. This one has a mealybug on it. I mean, you guys saw me open up the package. It, it was inside the box all night. I just barely opened it up. <sighs> and that's kind of a big boy. That is very, very unfortunate. I hope that the camera is picking it up right there. All right, guys, we are in my cold storage. Here, I'm gonna give you a little update on those codex plants. So I ended up panicking and I just, <laughs> I don't know if this is appropriate. I just kind of threw them into this diatomaceous earth bag, kind of shook the bag because I do not want there to be any mealybugs on these guys. This by now should have killed any mealybugs on them. I am just going to drop them into the water to wash them off. I'm a little nervous about this because I know they're not like really supposed to get wet because they can rot really easily. So I'm just gonna rinse them off and let them dry here. And here's the thing I try to remind myself of, like I know there can be a little rogue bug somewhere, but I don't know, that's a pretty big mealy bug. I mean, fortunately they are just these little codex bulb things. It'll be easy to treat, but like I try to, I try to not like freak out when there's a pest because I know plants have the potential to have pests even if I'm buying them from somewhere else. So like where it is a little bit disheartening, that's just kind of the name of the game sometimes. And I, I wish that hadn't have happened. I feel really bad. Cause I don't want people to think that because this plant had a mealy bug, like it's not a good shop. Cause I don't know, this is my only experience with them. So like for all I know, this was a fluke, but like obviously I, it like kind of feels not great for me, you know? Ugh. Oh, I hate this. Okay, so next up is Saracotta plants. Oh, I remember which one it was. <gasps> it's so cute. It's perfect. A Senegalia, I think is how you say it. Burke, Burke. Gosh, I'm so bad at this. I love it. That is so cute. Oh, there's thorns on it, but the thorns are so small. There's some here. They're so small. <laughs> I'm pleased thus far. The last package is from Life and Leaves, which this is the shop. I read a lot of the reviews and I remember I was going to order three plants from this place, but based on some of the reviews, I was a little nervous. So I'm interested to see like how the packaging is. This is how it is packaged. Let's pull these babies out. We'll start with the bigger one, which I can already see <laughs> is the Dion Edule. Oh, I love it. Seems like it's in a kind of big pot for the plant. <laughs> Maybe the plant is just fuzzy, but I mean, that white stuff looks like kind of mold to me. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm making that up. Don't take my word for it, but I love this nut thing. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, it's cute. Okay, I'm happy with it. And last up, well, last up for this batch, Adenia glauca, whatever. I'm So far, I'm happy with every single plant. The only unfortunate thing is the mealybug so far. But other than that, like, 
And even that I'm not too worried about because they are caudex plants and there was only that small amount of tissue that the mealybugs really would be. I don't know, no harm, no foul, I guess. It'll be easy to take care of. Here is the Adenia Glocka. It's so cute and perfect. I love it. I'm really excited. I love the shape of these leaves. They're so unique. It kind of reminds me of like a money tree. It looks like it's gonna have a similar growth pattern to a money tree is what I mean. And I love the money tree growth pattern, but this just has like, cuter chubbier leaves so those are all of the plants i've gotten so far see you later for the rest of the plants i'm so dumb and was not recording one of the unboxings and i am kicking myself because obviously once it's unboxed it's unboxed i wish i had realized it wasn't recording <laughs> Oh, I'm a terrible YouTuber. Anyway, I do have the plant right here. I've by now potted it up. It's been a few days since I received it. This is the Uliarum Don Burnsii, I think is how you say it. This is from the Lady Cove. It arrived perfectly, even better than perfect. I'm extremely pleased with it. The new leaf is about to unravel. The roots looked excellent. And like I said, I'm extremely happy with this purchase. So I'll for sure be ordering from there again. Yeah, here is the plant. All right, so those are all the plants I ordered in my previous video. Let me know what you thought of this little two-part series. I had a lot of fun with it and I don't know, let me know if this is something you'd like to see me do going forward. Although I don't plant shop very often, like once or twice a year, if that. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!